Welcome back to London. I feel like I haven't vlogged from London in a while. Um, I think since November, it's now mid-January. So since November 2023, 20, we're in 2024 already. It's been so cold here recently that I don't even wanna leave the house, but I forced myself to get out of the house today to get some tea and some scones that I'm going to prepare now. It's actually sunny today, but it's like one degree Celsius. So I got some green tea as well as some, well, it's a different type of green tea, but it's Moroccan mint green tea. And then I also got a jam, wait, black currant preserve. <laughs> and then I got some scones from Gales and let's make some scones and tea. Cause London, get it? I actually have a whole collection of tea from Fortnum and Mason. So we have jade oolong tea, which I actually don't like. Um, I have matcha. I have Japanese sencha green tea that I really like. Um, I have Japanese pearls green tea. So a lot of green tea actually. <laughs> and then I have the Earl Grey classic, which I love as well. And the Fort Mason. I think it's like a tangerine or something. It's really good as well, I love it. And then um, the chamomile tea, which I got the fancy Fortnum and Mason chamomile tea, but then I've been repurchasing just regular like Twinnings ba tea bags. So I'm gonna make this green tea. I don't think I tried it before. It smells good. Saturday and the weather is not terrible. Five degrees Celsius, not bad at all. So let's go. I went to the shortage area and I don't go here often, but like, is it normal for everything to be closed on a Saturday? Corporation of London, London Fruit Exchange and London Wool Exchange. There are a lot of vintage stores in this area and I decided to check them out. I've said in a previous video that I can never buy anything at a vintage store because I only shop for specific things I have in mind. Like let's say I decide that I want a new jacket. So I look online for the type of jacket that I want and the color and the shape and the material. And then I find like 10 different options for maybe 10 different brands and I compare all of them. <laughs> and then when I do buy it, I like having the option to try a few sizes. And one of the reasons I am like this is because I move a lot internationally. So every single item that I buy, I immediately take into consideration that within a few years, this item is likely going to be a pain in the ass for me because I will either have to pack it and pay for shipping it to my new location, or I'll have to take a loss on what I paid for it and leave it behind because I don't really sell things when I move. It's too much hassle on top of the relocation itself. But I decided to give it a try and bought this cute little jacket that is clearly way too oversized for me, but I like the material and maybe I can get it tailored to fit me better. I was going through some documents and one thing about me is that I hate 
drawing. Like I absolutely hate it and I'm not good at it either, but that's not why I don't like it. I have a lot of hobbies that I'm not good at, but drawing specifically, I just really don't like it. However, early lockdown, I decided to buy a set of watercolor markers. And then I went on to create this masterpiece as well as this kind of draft sketch kind of thing that I actually like it on its own. I drew the cat that used to live on my street. And some plants, cause that's what I was into at the time. And I was so proud of my work that I actually brought it here with me from Amsterdam when I moved to London. Um, I left a lot of things behind in this move and I just could not leave these two works of art behind to probably hang them. So yeah, this is the um, painting, drawing. Um, of course, I don't think I came up with this like look for the palm trees. I'm pretty sure I got inspired from something on like Pinterest or Instagram. So this is it. The grass is really nicely done here. The palm trees. And then my own personal touch that I was not inspired by anything. It was just coming from me. <laughs> the use of um, the gold metallic marker for the moon and the stars and the plants and this leopard here. Anyway, creative genius. <laughs> I need to get a new hair clip because I broke this one and it still works, but it feels like it doesn't support my hair as well. You may think that it's just a claw clip, whatever. Get a new one on Amazon. But not all claw clips are created equal and I actually really like this one from Muji. So I'm gonna go to Muji and get a new one. I love Muji, so I'm always happy to have a reason to go there. But they didn't have it. So I left empty-handed and disappointed. 